Hi everyone, uh, welcome to my live show at uh, The More Mix. I'm uh, Chef Ambrose. Today I'll be uh, showing you uh, two dishes using uh, the basmati rice. So uh, the first uh, dish I'll be showing you is the nasi ulam, which is uh, a simple rice salad with the uses of uh, fresh herbs and spices. And the second dish uh, we doing uh, the uh, fried rice laksa. Okay, it's a very uh, unique dish with all the elements of the ingredient of laksa. So now I'm going to show you how to cook the rice using thermomix. So I place a bowl or any bowl, and then I will just uh, set it to scale. Okay, make sure. There's no way here, so you need to tie it to zero. Okay, zero ready. And then measure of rice. Okay, so you have nearly 200. So uh, we are using the simmering basket here. So I will need to wash the rice. So I just pour it in here and then rinse it under water to rinse the rice. Okay, so the rice has already been washed. So now I need uh, one litre of water in here. So I'm going to use the uh, time of uh, 15 minutes and the temperature is a varoma and the speed is uh, about 3 to 3.5 so place in the simmering basket make sure the lid is secure properly okay so then uh, we can start Okay, so it's running by itself. And the uh, next thing I want to do is I'm going to uh, steam uh, egg, okay? So I got the uh, Varoma basket over here. And I use a greaseproof paper on the top. And I have two uh, whole eggs which is beaten. I'm going to pour the egg, okay? Carefully on the paper. So when it's cooked, I can uh, take off easily. It won't stick on the paper. Okay. So I want, just I want to have a very thin uh, like uh, omelet, which I will uh, later on when it's cooked, I just uh, cut into a small strip, and to be used for the uh, laksa fried rice. So let's put this on top. And then make sure you cover with your lids. So, the second uh, dish I'm going to do is uh, we call it the kuning rumpa. Okay, it's a turmeric uh, spice mix, which uh, we will use it for our uh, laksa fried rice later on. So over here, let me go through quickly the uh, ingredients. Um, the main ingredient will be your chili, okay, fresh red chili. Um, I just used two lemongrass. The chili is about six number. And um, the third ingredient will be uh, shallots peel. Uh, over here you can see uh, I have the blue ginger peel slice because the uh, blue ginger is quite tough. So I just apply it clean and then just rough cut will do. Okay. And uh, turmeric, fresh turmeric root. I just scrub the uh, outer turmeric because uh, I did not even uh, peel the skin. Uh, because if you want to peel the skin, it's going to stain your finger, your knife, your chopping board everywhere. So let the uh, TM6 do the work for you. So I leave the skin on. And uh, over here, I have the candle nut, which I've soaked in water for about an hour. So it's a bit softer, you see? It's a bit soft already. And uh, here I have a balachan, okay? Balachan. And over here, I've soaked some uh, dry chili, about uh, six number, 
If you want more spicy, you can uh, add more dry chilli. And uh, lemongrass, I actually uh, will slice them because uh, if I put the whole lemongrass, it will go, uh, create a lot of fibre in your rumpa, which uh, we will not want that. So only this thing you need to slice. So the rest, the uh, machine will take care of it. So now let us blend. Okay? I'm going to blend the herbs. Okay? So just, just set the time. And then I'm going to use the chopping mode. So I'm going to put the chili. Shallots, okay. blue ginger, turmeric root, candlenut, okay. shrimp paste, balachan, the lemongrass, and dry chili. And I'm going to use uh, oil. So uh, let me uh, measure the oil. For this much, I use about uh, 200 grams of oil. So don't worry about too much oil because uh, the spice meat needs uh, quite a, uh, a large amount of oil to uh, draw out the uh, flavor of the spice when it's cooking. Okay. And also help uh, to blend up the uh, spices. Okay, so now we go back. And then I'm going to close it. Okay, it's done. Let's check. Wow, this is the texture that we want. It's so fine. Okay. So I'll just uh, clean out the uh, pot and the cover okay, with the spatula. So that uh, all this will be cooked in the pot. Okay. Now I can uh, smell the rice cooking on my side. Oh, the nice uh, aroma of the basmati rice and the egg. Okay. So it's very helpful to have two, you know. So I can uh, cook uh, two dish simultaneously. Okay. Now cover it back, and then I'm going to uh, set it at about half an hour. And the temperature, I'll uh, adjust to 98. Okay, I'm going to slow cook my rumpa. And I just put it at... Oh. Sorry, yeah. Uh. So, half an hour. Okay, 98. Okay, 1.5 uh, speed to 2. And uh, it's going to splatter later on because of the oil and the rumpa is cooking. So I'm going to put this uh, simmering basket on top just to prevent the splattering. Okay, okay so now uh, while this two is cooking, I'm going to uh, introduce to you the ingredients to the nasi ulam. Okay. So uh, by the way, uh, I'm from uh, All Spice Institute Culinary School. Uh, we specialize in the Asian cuisine. So uh, my forte is uh, Peranakan cuisine. So today I'll be just doing the version of uh, Peranakan nasi ulam, a very simple version which you can do at home. So uh, what kind of herbs do we need? So in this market, uh, you can actually get uh, fresh mint leaf. Okay, it's very refreshing. Then over here, I got the Vietnamese mint leaf. Uh, local, we call it the laksa leaf. And then the uh, Thai basil leaf. We have the kaffir lime leaf. 
And uh, this, you might have some problem with getting it. Okay, just let me stop. So this is the bitter nut leaf. Okay, if you can get it, you just use it. Uh, over here, I have uh, what uh, I use uh, as a turmeric leaf. So it's from the turmeric root. Okay, and this is a leaf. So both have uh, different uh, uh, flavor profile. So all these fresh herbs, I will just uh, finally slice it up. Okay, and over here is turmeric root, chopped. Uh, this is a red torch ginger flower, which I really uh, slice it, and uh, some sliced shallots, uh, lemon glass uh, chopped, and then uh, dry uh, toasted desiccated coconut. Okay, which you can uh, actually use uh, 120 high heat just to brown the desiccated coconut. Okay, okay now let's check the uh, egg and my rice. Wow, I can see the egg is cooked perfectly. So let's remove the egg tray. So here is the egg. And uh, so for safety, just use this uh, hook over here. Okay. And then just hook up the rice. Okay. Perfect. Look at the rice, it's fluffy and then it's not overcooked. So this is the texture of what we need. Okay, now I'm going to uh, transfer the cooked rice into the thermal server. So use your spatula to scoop up the rice. Honestly speaking, uh, if you use the traditional way of cooking the basmati rice, I think you couldn't uh, achieve this uh, great result. So this is very perfect, you see. It's not overcooked. So I'm happy with the result. Okay. So now I'm going to cover it back. Okay. Okay, I'm going to uh, cut the egg omelette. So, I'm going to uh, actually dice it. So, I'm going to cut strip. Then, to dice it. Okay. And later on, this I will use for my laksa fried rice. Okay, I'm done. Put one side. So uh, now I'm going to uh, mix the uh, nasi ulam. So we're going to take half the rice out from the serving bowl. So that will be enough. Okay. So make sure you have all your ingredients ready. So these are all the herb and spices that you need to mix into your rice. So we're going to put a bit of turmeric. Okay. So this is one of the few uh, dishes that you consume your turmeric raw. So it's a very healthy dish. Then we have the uh, ginger flour, the chopped lemongrass, and then the shallots, okay. and then the fried desiccated coconut, and then the mix ups. Okay. I will keep some of this ingredient to do a topping as a garnish and then I'll just season it.
So if you want uh, to put uh, some uh, olive oil, coconut oil, it's up to you. Okay. So I'm doing a vegetarian uh, version of nasi ulam. The proper nasi ulam actually involves uh, more ingredients. Like they will add uh, raw French bean, long bean, wing, green bean, and then uh, cucumber, dice, and also uh, fish meat, or fried silver fish, and uh, peanut. So there's a lot, a lot of ingredients going into this uh, nasi ulam. But this version is very simple. Everyone can do it at home. Okay? So you can see all the colors in that, but the important thing is all the flavor. So if you have uh, one mouthful, you can actually taste all the different flavor of the herbs and spices. So it's very refreshing. Okay. So I'm going to do the presentation. Okay. So just remove this ingredient. So I'll just put uh, some uh, turmeric leaf, okay, for some decoration, and then fluff up the rice. Well, now I can actually smell all the uh, herbs and spices, so the aroma is very appetizing. Actually, we'll put a uh, bulajan on the side, okay? And then... Small lime to grow your bulajan. And then some herbs on the top. And desiccated coconut, okay? A bit more turmeric, so and uh, the ginger flower. Okay, this is my favorite. Okay. So you have a nice, colorful nasi ulam. I hope you guys uh, like today uh, the uh, recipe for nasi ulam, which is very healthy. Okay, the uh, rumpa is ready. So now. We will check. Well, I can smell the very strong aroma of the spices. Super strong, fragrant. Now I'm feeling hungry. It's very hot, just be careful. You see the nice, uh, lovely color. So we're going to take the rumpa out. And the texture is super fine. I can't even see the chili seed in here. So it saved me the problem of uh, using a blender and chopper. So normally, which I have used, like two machine. So for now, I just use this TM6 and do everything for me wonderfully. Okay, so I'm not going to wash my pot because I'll be using the same pot to fry the laksa fried rice. Okay, so don't have to be too clean. You can see, uh, uh, Nice uh, layer of oil, which means that the uh, spices is uh, cooked nicely. Okay, if you don't see any oil ca coming out from the spices, it means it's not uh, cooked enough. So you can see, uh, you can smell the aroma. Okay, so don't worry too much about the oil. What I normally do is I will set it for a while, and then a thick layer of oil will come out. Just skim it off. Okay, and if you are using the spices. Uh, this uh, paste to cook anything like uh, rendang, uh, salo de, and many many other dish. I uh, normally will not put uh, any more oil because there's a lot of oil in the spices. So for this fried rice, the same thing. Okay, so you can see uh, some paste in there. Uh, I'm going to use some because I'm cooking a portion. So I'll use about the. Uh, Two tablespoon of spice paste. Okay. And normally, if I do this uh, uh, rumpa, I will do quite a lot because the time it take. So why don't we do a lot? And then for this, I can keep it in the freezer for a few months or whenever I want to use it. I'll take it out from the freezer, 
and then I can whip up a dish within half an hour. Okay, so now I'm going to just uh, refresh. Okay, just heat up the paste for a while, and slowly going to add all the ingredient in there. So um, turn up the heat. Okay. Uh, 98 and then slowly just refresh it for a while and uh, let me introduce the ingredient to you okay for the uh, laksa fried rice so what you find in the laksa what I have here is uh, what you can uh, have in the laksa so I have tau pok I cut small dice I have fish cake small dice or cube and then just now the steam egg also small cube or dice, and of course the most important thing is KB. Okay, dry stream, soak water, pound it or just uh, fast mix it in here, and then you get the dry stream. So uh, now I'm going to put the dry stream in here, okay, to make it fragrant. And uh, the important thing for the laksa is of course the herbs, the laksa leaf. Chop it up, and uh, I'm going to put some uh, ikan bilis seasoning which uh, we can do it in uh, TM6. Uh, so going to wash your uh, ikan bilis, dry it, and then I'm just going to grind it fine. So you get your nice homemade ikan bilis seasoning. Okay. So just going to check, okay. I haven't set the time, you see? It'll remind you, you forgot to set anything, it just will remind you to do it. So this is very, uh, it's a safety uh, built-in, so you don't have to worry, okay? Okay, so uh, I can see the paste heating up already. I can hear the sizzling sound, okay? So now the, field, uh, the next thing I'm going to do is the fish cake. Okay. Just put it in. Okay, straight away I can smell the uh, dry stream. So I'm going to maybe adjust the speed. Okay. A bit faster. Okay. And then uh, next I'm going to put the tau pok in. Just remember don't turn the speed too uh, high, okay? Or else you're not going to fry it. Now for those uh, who want to have more ingredients, you can add your cooked uh, prawn, okay? maybe some uh, diced chicken if you want to. Okay, so the next one, I'll be adding the eggs. Okay. And the last ingredient I'm going to add in here is of course the basmati rice. Okay. So it's already uh, cooked and then uh, it's warm in here. So that's good. Just season, okay? According to your taste, not going to add too much. So it's about a teaspoon. Okay, so now I'll crank up the heat because I want a bit of wok here in my fried rice. So just heat up high. Aroma. Okay. For a while. Uh, lower down the speed. So I'll let it scissor for maybe uh, 30 seconds, then I'll add in the rice. Okay, let's add in the rice. Wow. Okay, so we are using the butterfly to stir the rice. So I'm going to scrape down the side first to clean the side. Huh? Okay. Then let's put the 
butterfly. Just fix it in. Okay, make sure you need fix. And then add the rice. Done. Okay, when uh, everything is well mixed, I'll just uh, stop it. Okay. So you also depend on how much rice you put in. Okay, so uh, it's about two minutes, okay? Because everything is cooked, so I can smell the aroma. Okay, I can stop it. Okay, all done. Okay. Well, we can see the rice is uh, nice, nicely fried. And then with the nice uh, laksa color. Okay, so we'll just Transfer onto this plate. Then we will garnish with the laksa leaf down kusum. Laksa fried rice. So uh, our uh, school, uh, All Spice Institute, uh, offer many uh, courses like uh, Japanese uh, culinary and also uh, I'm specialized in the Peranakan food. So you yeah, can uh, learn many uh, Peranakan dishes from us. So please uh, do like and share so that everyone can enjoy the uh, wonderful dish. Thank you very much.